you. I love you too. And uh, hey, look at you all keeping your chin up, huh? <laughs> Good for you. And welcome to this week's edition of He Did What? <laughs> what did Donald Trump do now? Well, I'll tell you something, he did the impossible. He made going to the airport shittier than it was. <laughs> That's... Just before we came on, we got news that Muslim ban he instituted, a federal judge knocked that out until a higher court so different. Uh, yeah, so... If you missed this, I mean, there's so much news this guy creates, but... <laughs> way back after our last show, which was only a week ago, <laughs> he instituted this Muslim ban, uh, which he called a ban, and then his press secretary, Sean Spicer, called a ban, and then there were protests, and they denied it was a ban. And then Trump tweeted, well, you can call it a ban if you like. <laughs> so they're really on message, and the message is we have no idea what we're doing. <laughs> But, hey... <laughs> hey, you Muslims, don't think you're special, because our president picked a fight with a lot of people last week. <laughs> a lot of... Finally, a president has shown the balls to stand up to our arch-enemy, Australia. <laughs> right? He had a call. <laughs> He had a call with the Australian Prime Minister, longtime poodle dog ally <laughs> of America, and he finally said to him, you know what, I had five calls today, this is the worst, and hung up. <laughs> well, he didn't hang up. He, first he said, we're building a wallaby, and you're gonna pay for it. <laughs> but he knows about Australia. But... No, I mean, it's interesting. Just in a week, he's threatened to invade Iran, Mexico, Chicago. Today... <laughs> <laughs> Today, we declared war on La La Land. I mean, this, this can't be going well. I mean, it is starting to look like that our only hope is penis enlargement surgery. Really, I... I... Oh, and no one's seen Melania <clears throat> for, like, since the inauguration. I, I... I don't want to say we have a mad king who has his wife locked in a tower, but it's literally called Trump Tower. I mean, it's... <laughs> She's like a Slovenian Rapunzel. <laughs> Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your extensions. <laughs> so, turning to domestic insanities, um... <laughs> Donald Trump, okay, this week announced his Supreme Court pick, uh, but he did it like a reality show with an unveiling of finalists. That actually happened. <laughs> then, for Holocaust Remembrance Day, uh, the administration said, it is tight, high time on this day we stopped mentioning the Jews. <laughs> really? Other people thought it was an oversight. No, no, we did this on purpose. Why? Because other people were killed, too. Yes, the Jews have been hogging the Holocaust. <laughs> Fake news! <laughs> and then it was time to insult black people. So... <laughs> I'm telling you, you see, equal opportunity, because... This was the beginning of February, which is Black History Month, so Trump gathered all the black people he knows in one room. <laughs> he was like a kid showing off his Pokemon cards, you know. <laughs> this is Omarosa. Her special power is sass. <laughs> uh... And <laughs> this was great. He called it a listening session, and he did all the talking. All about himself and the election and how unfair the news coverage has been. Only Trump could take the occasion of Black History Month and make it about how he's oppressed. <laughs> and... and then he outdid himself, really, even him. Started talking about Frederick Douglass. <laughs> someone who's done a terrific job. <laughs> Terrific job, and is being recognized by more and more people. Where are you, Freddie? Stand up. Let the people see you. Fred Douglas, tremendous guy. 
tremendous. And then someone told Trump, uh, Frederick Douglass is dead, and, and Trump said, oh no, gang violence? <laughs> And finally, to cap off the week, yesterday at the National Prayer Breakfast, the National Prayer <laughs> Breakfast, <laughs> the president opened the proceedings by saying what tremendous success Celebrity Apprentice was when he was the host of it, but now that it's Arnold Schwarzenegger, it's a total disaster. The ratings went right down the tubes. Amen.